guys. So my client is a financial advisor. So I have some posts prepared. My first post is a scripture. It's John 16:33. Um, it's going to be put over a globe with pretty cursive writing. And the scripture is, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So my reasoning for proposing this post is because my client highly values spirituality. It's actually in her vision statement. And also, our content strategy includes posting scriptures weekly. Um, I've been in charge of the marketing for my client for about a month now um, and I do a weekly scripture post and it continues that tradition. Um, our primary persona is a retirement aged man who highly values um, religion and goes to church weekly and um, so that really sticks to that persona. Um, and one of the opportunities we have in our SWOT analysis is we have an opportunity to build a relationship with our client base so we want to have more personal posts and i feel like spirituality is such a raw and personal piece of ourselves and it can alienate people but it can also bring people closer and you can relate on something that is probably the most important thing in your life um our goal is to get more of a current client following so rather than getting other people who are outside of my mom's financial firm. We're trying to get current clients to come in and then establish a relationship with those clients. So this will help us establish that goal because a lot of her current clients are very religious people and they highly value that. My second post is a Dave Ramsey quote. Um, my mom is a smart buster pro with Dave Ramsey. So it will have houses in the background and it will say if you will live like no one else later you can live like no one else it's one of his most famous quotes um her vision statement states that she um this is a direct quote her hope is to help clients and their families attain financial peace of mind by assisting with their financial decisions no matter where they are in life a lot of people who follow dave ramsey are taking his baby step program, they're in debt, they have a lot of things that they need to figure out, and this post aligns with that value of helping people no matter where they are. Um, our content strategy lists Dave Ramsey as one of our um, core pieces because my mom is a smart vester. Um, Dave Ramsey, what a smart vester is, is he has people that he has suggested for certain areas and if you go on his site and you sign up to be, meet with an advisor, those people will be who are suggested to you. So she's one of the smart festers in Columbus, Ohio. Um, our secondary persona is a young woman who avidly follows Dave Ramsey and is obsessed. She's on his baby step program. She loves him. So this would really appeal to that audience that we're trying to get. We're really trying to hit that younger audience and be able to walk people through. Um, one of my client's strengths is educating people, and Dave Ramsey quotes are very educational. They really help um, dispel a lot of myths and stuff like that, so I think that posting these kind of quotes is a really good idea for emphasizing that education strength of hers. And one of our goals is to increase following, so posting a influential person's quotes and tagging them will really help increase following because it will link uh, my client with that influential person and Dave Ramsey is a very influential person. Um, our final post is a Thanksgiving post. Um, I made three little um, pieces of pie and they have a section taken out and it says the only pie charts we need um, and then it says half hashtag give thanks. Um, so this is um, a post about family and my um, client really values family. It's in her vision statement as well. She loves her family. It's so important to her. Um, and th Thanksgiving is a family holiday. Um, our strategy includes posting family posts. Um, we are trying to do that every Friday, um, but obviously it can extend to other days like holidays. Um, so both of our buyer personas really value family. We really want to get family people who care 
and don't put too much care on money versus their family. So this will appeal to that kind of person. And one of my client's strengths is actually it's a family owned business. So my grandfather passed it to my mom. Um, I really hope she doesn't pass it to me. No offense, mom, because I do not like the pension planning world, but I will be her assistant. And I will help her and maybe my brother will do it <laughs> instead of me. But that's one of her strengths. This is a very um, down to earth, loving and different environment from a lot of financial planning firms. We're very warm instead of the cold, aloof financial advisors many people meet with. We are a family organization and we understand and value family very much. Um, the other thing is my client has a goal to be more conscious of holidays and more posts about that. So outside of that, we've been sending out business cards. Um, for birthdays, we've been sending out like birthday cards. Uh, I ordered Christmas cards. So we're trying to be more conscious of holidays and this helps with that goal. So those are the different posts I have and how they align with my client's visions, um, all of their goals she has, her SWOT analysis and everything like that. Have a good weekend, guys.